All right, guys, next of the match lessons here from last week's three-gun match. Uh, this one is on understanding what bullet impacts do to your field of view. So this stage started off with a unloaded start. You came in here, and the targets that you shot from this position were these uh, two pieces of really close paper stacked with a no-shoot in the middle. So a lot of people got caught off uh, not knowing their offset there. And then you can see the two clay pigeons in the back on the right at somewhere between, I'd say like 23, 25 yards, and the two white pieces of paper uh, with the pistol target stacked between them. So uh, I chose to shoot the close paper first, then shoot the clays, then shoot the white paper, which was a big mistake, and you'll see why in one second. Here we go. Now, I shot the close paper uh, shooting down into the dirt, and when I squared up to shoot the clay pigeons in the back, you can see what my field of view of these clay pigeons looked like. So that led to two misses. Here they are. And then the field of view cleared up a little bit. I could see them. And then I made my two shots. And then I'm still kind of shooting that white piece of paper in, you know, quite a bit of haze back there. So not super sweet. Uh, if I would have just shot this in a different order, then I could have shot the uh, clays in the back then shot the white paper in the back, then shot the close paper and exited on this really easy shot right in front of me, wide open, uh, you know, just made sure not to hold, it, hold into the no shoot. That would have been a significantly better way to go, but that is not what I ended up doing. So I would say that probably cost me about a second and a half overall in the stage, which was a pretty big difference in this stage. And uh, yeah, once I get a little bit more tuned up and I'm used to shooting again and seeing those kinds of things, then we'll stop making these kind of mistakes.